All right, today I'm taking a look at the differences between the American Hasbro release of Transformers Armada Hoist and the Takara Japanese release of Micron Legend Grapple. So the only difference is color, and right off the bat, you can see that the white of the Japanese release is a much more pure white, and the American one sort of has a yellowish tinge to it. Now, I can't say for sure how much the American one is yellowing, but I do know that it is a fact that the Takara ones do have a more pure white. Now, the other major difference is that every brown piece on the original is replaced with a clear sort of silverish plastic on the Takara one, and that is true of the Minicon as well, and it's the only difference between the two Minicons. So you can see here, the Minicon has these brown wheels, and the Japanese one has the clear plastic sort of silverish wheels. And other than that, there's absolutely no difference between the two Minicon releases. So on the main figures here, you can see that difference here in the shovel, like I said, um, on the treads, as well as this little piece here that the Autobot symbol sits on, the piece at the front of the truck here behind the grill, and his fingers and some other spots that we'll see in robot mode. But literally every piece that is brown in the original now has this somewhat translucent silver on the Takara one. And he does unfortunately suffer from easy cracking in those silver spots. So here on what becomes the hip, uh, my copy came cracked. So I'll be super careful in transforming this guy. But yeah, unfortunately this somewhat translucent plastic does suffer from clear plastic syndrome. The other most obvious major difference is the color of his arm here, and everywhere that that orange is used, it is now a deeper, closer to red color here. So the arm is the most obvious spot, and we'll see some other spots in robot mode. Other than that, the most obvious change, other than that, the most obvious change you can see in vehicle mode is the windows here. So this one has a bluish window, and the other one just has a silverish window. Both of them have a very slight sparkling effect to them. I think it's more apparent on this guy. I think it's stronger on this guy maybe, but it is there too in the Hasbro release. This space on the top of the vehicle where the head will cover up is the same in both releases, and the Autobot symbol looks about the same as well. And this print here is also the same. Okay, and here they both are in robot mode, and I think the differences are even more pronounced in robot mode because all of this leg area is unfolded, and of course you can see the big difference between the brown on the American version and the clear silverish plastic on the Takara version. And like I said, he does unfortunately suffer from easily cracking clear plastic there, so both of his hips are ready to come off. I'm being super delicate with him to avoid that. So if you're gonna get this guy, do be careful with his limbs here. And other than the details I've already mentioned, there's nothing else to compare. You can see that this blue here on both is the same, it's in the exact same places, and the details on their head are also the same in the exact same places, with the brown of his head also being switched out for the clear plastic. And here's just a closer look at them. I do appreciate the show accuracy of the Takara one, such as the blue windows I believe are more accurate, and I think the reddish hue of these parts compared to the orange of the American one is a bit more accurate, but I do think it's a shame that they use this somewhat translucent plastic because it makes him very fragile. And I do like the color scheme of the American one in general. I think it looks like a really nice vehicle. And I do appreciate the white of the Takara one, but the white of the American one also looks nice because he's a construction vehicle, kind of looks a little dirty in all the right ways in my opinion. So yeah, I love both the American release of him as well as the Japanese version. They both have their strengths and weaknesses in my opinion. And just for good measure, here they are with the other two American retail versions of this mold. This is one of my favorite Armada molds, and I think he looks great in all these color schemes. And yeah, those are the major differences between the Takara and Hasbro versions.